sprites and a $125,000 purse. And Kevin Windham getting his choice out of the gate. And you see to his outside, fellow teammate, Josh Grant. Yeah, he won his heat race. They gave him first pick. Grant says, hey, I like this outside. That means that he probably thinks Kevin may get a good start and go inside to try and, you know, kind of shut the field down to his inside. If he does that, it might give Grant a little bit more breathing room. Here we go, the main moto. Away on the outside, Joe Aloff has some distance to make up right there. Eric Sorby got the Koosh Cash Hole Shot Award last night, $1,000 richer. Tonight, it looks like Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis out front, followed by privateer Eric Sorby, Kevin Windham, then David Villeman. Back in eighth, you see Grant with immediately some shuffling going on, and Windham making up ground very quickly. I don't know how Kyle Lewis got the nickname Lucky. That's skill right there. He is a hole shot machine. But you see the bike, oh, jumping into the lead. Effortless, Kevin Windham moving into the lead. And look at Josh Grant on the inside. Three going wide. Three, three wide into that <laughs> left-hand turn. He's not wasting time. He can't. So Grant making up ground, and you see right behind him is Sorby, along with Kyle Lewis. The separation already for Kevin Windham. My eyes are still on that Honda back there, about fifth or sixth with the yellow gear, Josh Grant. He is, uh, he's proven that he can work his way up through the field, but he's really in a detriment right now in Wyndham. Look at that, the back end trying to check out of those Dunlop Rockets. That whoop section's tough. They rebuilt it from last night to tonight. It's fresh. Wyndham giving a little look back, but he knows he's gaining ground. He's trying to widen that gap with the lead. And you see out the back, Grant coming in to the fourth place position, battling for fourth. Deep bouncing, tripling right there. You see his leg already out, setting up for that left-hand turn. Very Jeff Ward reminiscent. Let's talk about Kevin Windham for a second. Has finished top three in AMA Supercross every year since 99. It's no surprise to see a rider like this dominate. And, and he broke his femur, you know, recently, and he comes back, and he's still the same old Kevin. He, he's smooth. He, Robbie Raynard's in our field tonight. Robbie was Kevin before Kevin. The yellow flags up. Jeff Willow, along with other riders, both down in the far corner. Masters Medical Unit taking care of them. Travel on the Supercross circuit. It's something when you're the leader, I mean, you really don't know what's ahead of you. And you just have to be extra cautious. You've seen the best. I mean, McGrath having problems at just out of that one whoop. And you made reference to it. Just the ruddiness of this course when things get slicked out. A lot of these riders have been complaining how it's getting out of the corners. Yeah, it, it, you had, you've got the best of both of, of the worlds here because it was actually too wet to start off the night. That'll make ruts. But also, as the night progresses, it gets dried, it gets slick. So you're right, Pat. You, you have both here. It was wet, but now it's starting to get a little dry. Sometimes that means tacky, which is what the riders like. We saw Thomas trying to paddle his way back to the top three, still held by Villeman and Grant. Both those riders trying to catch up. To Kevin Windham, who's just making it look so easy here. Such a big person, the Jeremy McGrath Invitational. Here's 10th place, hovering right around 10th. Kyle Mace, Danny Smith, Robbie Raynard. Thousands of dollars are on the line, Pat. You lose a position, that's money out of your pocket. But I don't think anybody's going to have quite the payday that Kevin Windham is if he keeps this up. 60 plus 125, that makes $185,000 he had. He has a chance of winning here tonight. You saw Thomas outside of the top four trying to work his way back. He had a hold on it early on and then slipped back. Voss in fourth, Grant in third, Villeman still in second. Kevin Windham has gone on record saying he's focused to end the season with the same intensity that he's starting the seasons with. I was talking about that and if you look at his performance here tonight, completely on par with that mission statement. Smooth. It's like that Thor ad. I love it. It's like that poetry in motion. You hear the music and you just see him ride. It looks so effortless. Just, just look at. It's supposed to be difficult for a guy who's leading a race to work your way by lap riders. It just happens that way. Normally they don't always pull over, and you have to be a little tentative. Here it looks like he's trying to make up time on the field. Well, things winding down. Six laps to go here in the main moto. 
We'll be right back after this. The Jeremy McGrath Invitational is brought to you by Honda, the company that defines performance in motorcycles, scooters, ATVs, and personal watercraft. By Thor Motocross, the leader in motocross gear and apparel. And by Amp Mobile, more mobile than you're used to. Due to time constraints, we move ahead in our coverage of the main moto. Him right now. Well, you put Wyndham on the track where there's mud. You know, anybody can win, and that, that was Kevin's case in Anaheim. But you know, you put him on a slick track. That suits his style a little more. At least it, it is results. It seems to as we're approaching our last lap here. But Kevin is consistent. That's how he will win if he does it. He's consistently fast. Or maybe James might be a little more reckless and, and throw it down when you'd least expect it. Well, you mentioned the AMA Supercross. Top three since 1999. I was talking about it earlier. You can't get more consistent than that. I mean, that's an incredible record when you talk about the level of riding throughout Supercross. Yeah, and it, it, it's unfortunate. It's a white flag's out, and we're seeing Josh Graham back in there. It's unfortunate we couldn't see Chad Reed here tonight as well. I know he was wanting to come. He'd been injured, and I, I'm sure, you know, he, he gives props to Jerry McGrath all the time, the guy he looked up to. Hopefully, we'll see him next year. Taking a look over at Danny Smith. I think he, he's kind of letting Danny race his own race out there right now. He has a comfortable enough lead, but there's so much money up for grabs. If Danny can get more, you know, make more passes, he'll make even more money. So you really don't want to pass him, but then again, you don't want to get caught by Villeman. It perfectly illustrates the lead that Kevin Windham has had since the beginning of this main moto race. This is the inaugural Jeremy McGrath Invitational as Kevin Windham comes in. The final time, steps on, steps off. And there it is, devastating consistency, Kevin Windham.